Spencer Tillis. What's going on, guys? And welcome over to First Financial Music Hall in downtown El Dorado as we are getting set for the draft party watch for Daniel Gafford. El Dorado's very own getting a chance to maybe go pro if he hears his name called here later on today. Now, people are starting to file in for this free event. It's filling up a little bit, but you still have time. If you're at home and you want somewhere to watch with some friends, might as well and come out. The environment is going to be great. And anybody that knows Daniel will tell you whatever he earns tonight, he definitely deserved. Daniel Gafford was made for this, and soon the rest of the sports world is going to know it too. Yeah, I want to give a big shout out to El Dorado, you know, aka the Dog Pound, everybody down there watching me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all always be with me throughout my whole journey. Y'all still with me. So let's get it, let's get it popping. Not bad for the little drummer boy from El Dorado, Arkansas. It was great. It was just sitting there watching him. It was like, wow, I really played with him and watching him show out against all those other D1 teams. It's been quite a journey for the 6'10 center. Before he was moving up draft boards by nearly tearing down rims at Arkansas, he was a four-star recruit for the Wildcats and helped lead them to one of the best seasons in program history, making it all the way to the state championship game. Uh, it's amazing to see, uh, you know, Daniel to come from where he's been to now. Uh, he was just dominant when he had the ball. I mean, there's not a lot of people out here in uh, South Arkansas that's 6'10 like he was. And it's not hard to see what NBA scouts are falling in love with. Not only does he have great size, but he can jump with anybody. But it's his ability to run rim to rim that is really setting him apart. But for guys that grew up with him, that's nothing new. When I first practiced with him, when, with the varsity, you know, I had to guard him every day in practice. Uh, yeah, he tough. Yeah. Uh, that's crazy, but I'm happy for him. And, uh, I just hope he do, you work hard and just play, uh, do everything you got to do. Uh, we had a tournament here. Um, I was probably seventh grade. Uh, he was in the ninth. He was just, it was just, it was just easy for him out here. If Gafford gets picked, he'll be the first guy to get drafted from El Dorado High School. But just seeing one guy make it is going to have an effect for years to come. I think it'll be great because I feel like a lot of more of the younger kids will start to work harder and try to get to where he's at. Definitely inspire him, make him work harder and whatnot. Definitely. Now, Daniel is projected as a late first rounder, possibly early second rounder. But either way, we're all hoping that he gets his name called tonight. Now, there's another big storyline going on tonight. The Pelicans, obviously, with the first overall pick, probably going to take Zion Williamson. We're all waiting to hear him get called out of Duke. They also had the fourth pick, which they got from the Lakers. Now, they have traded back already in the draft. Daniel already looking like they are willing to move all over the place. So it's going to be an exciting night no matter what. But that is going to be it for sports. We'll have another look at your forecast coming up next.